Now this is the uh, boat anchor station at, at N4LQ. This is a Hammerlin HQ150. And we're running a DX60 Heathkit transmitter. And this is a VFO that I built using uh, circuitry from uh, N3ZI. It's a DDS VFO. As you can see, we are on the 7030 40 meter band. And uh, this is my opto isolator that I use to key the uh, rig and the VFO at the same time and keep the 90 volt uh, key voltage off of the VFO. We've got a couple of keys here. This is the uh, this is a March a JM March paddle, one of his first. Uh, this is a lightning bug, a vibroplex. And this is a uh, Kent straight key. And up here is the keyer. This is a uh, MFJ 495. And it allows me to use it both with a paddle and with a bug and straight key. So I can, I can key it either way. And it gives me a really nice uh, sine wave side tone. And finally here is the uh, the latest addition to the shack, this is the MFJ 1708 RF Sense Transmit Receive Switch. And this has an adjustable delay on it. So I can uh, key the transmitter. The RF reaches the uh, switch. It automatically changes over the antenna from transmit to, or receive to transmit. I've got a watt meter up here. This is a speaker for the uh, HQ150, but for CW, I prefer this little MFJ281. It has a very sharp resonance, right around 650 hertz, and it makes CW stand out really well. And um, to uh, prepare to transmit, I always uh, first calibrate, calibrate the uh, receiver and be sure that the, the dial is correct. And uh, if I flip this switch, it keys the VFO. You can just barely hear it in the receiver. And I can tune in my carrier. I can turn on the Q multiplier. This really enhances the reception. As you can tell, it makes it much louder. And so my dial is showing 7030. See if you can see it. So we're ready to transmit. And this is what the side tone sounds like when I key. There's the fire output. 60 watts. 